Good morning and welcome to the Oath of Office ceremony. Today, six individuals that have been elected by the citizens of Blount County will be sworn into office and will then work to represent the people of Blount County to the best of their ability for the duration of their terms. This is a tremendous responsibility because the people have put their faith and their well-being in each of these elected officials' hands. No matter the position, this is an important day for these elected officials and an important day for Blount County. This time, I would like to ask the Reverend Lucas Claybo from the First Baptist Church of Maryville to come up and lead us in an invocation. Thank you. It's an honor to be with you today. Would you join me in a word of prayer, please? Our gracious Father in heaven, we're thankful for these men and women who stand before you this uh, morning. Father, for their service in this community. Father, I'm so grateful that uh, of the blessings we have in, in Blunt County. Lord, and uh, this community of, uh, of faith and this community of uh, love and affection for neighbors. And God, we ask that, uh, as Timothy says, that we pray for all people, for kings and for governors, for those who are in authority. We ask your blessing on these individuals. We know that Romans 13 says that government is a blessing to keep us safe. And Father, we should graciously submit to the ones who have been placed over us in your service. So Lord, we ask that wisdom and guidance and faith and trust would be given to them. And Father, that the future direction would be bright. It is in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Thank you very much. This time I would like to ask the Director of Veterans Affairs, Nathan Weinbaum, to come up and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. If you are able, please rise, face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Nathan. Uh, we now have some remarks that were, are going to be presented by Judge William Brewer. <clears throat> Good morning. <clears throat> I've been asked to make just a few remarks today, but before I do, I'd like to uh, ask that we take a moment of silence to remember the life of Lois Coleman and her service here in Blount County. Thank you. Normally, uh, this time in the morning when I'm facing a crowd such as this in my robe, uh, after about 30 minutes or so, people start going to jail. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think that's going to happen today, uh, but just to be safe, I'm going to limit my remarks to about five minutes, okay? <laughs> to the six of you that are taking the oath of office today, in just a few minutes to your family, friends, and supporters, please accept my congratulations. I've always enjoyed swearing in day. It's a happy day and a happy occasion. It's almost like a wedding day. Choosing to pursue public office is like a courtship, only you're trying to woo the voters. You get to know them, they get to know you. Some of you had a difficult courtship. You had rival suitors. Some of you didn't. When you pop the question on election day, all of you that are here got the answer that you hoped for. Today is the formal ceremony. Soon you will get to say your I do's. Occasionally when I do perform weddings for folks, I tell the happy couple that everything leading up to today is the easy part. The real work begins when the honeymoon is over, and I'll suggest the same to you. For better or for worse, I think this internet thing is going to catch on. I was Googling around some topics to talk about briefly today, and I settled upon elections and public, public office. And we'll talk just briefly about that a few things. 
There are historical references to elections that go back to ancient Greece and Rome. But what we recognize as elections today actually began approximately in the 17th century when our representative form of governments began in Europe and North America. Currently in the United States, there are over 80,000 elections per year for public office. Over the years, a series of amendments to the United States Constitution and other laws have been enacted to expand the right to vote or to make the right to vote easier. The 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment to the Constitution, as enforced by the 1965 Voting, Act, Voting Rights Act, gave all men over the age of 21 the right to vote. The 19th Amendment in 1920 gave all women over the age of 21 the right to vote. The 24th Amendment in 1964 made a poll tax illegal. The 26th Amendment in 1971 lowered the voting age to 18. And in 1994, Tennessee, to the Tennessee Early Voting Act came into effect. All this being said is that now more folks are eligible to vote and it's a lot easier to vote. And yet, this past election here in Blount County, based on some numbers provided to me by Libby Breeding, only uh, out of seven, 73,569 people registered to vote, only 12,688 people chose to do so. That's 17 percent, a meager 17 percent. Contrast this with some other countries in the world where voting is compulsory. That is, you're required to vote by law. For example, in Australia, if you fail to vote, you can be assessed a $20 penalty. If you fail to pay the, the assessment, or if you cannot provide a good explanation for why you didn't vote, you can be prosecuted in court. And if found guilty, you can be fined $50 plus the court cost. <coughs> Just think, if we had compulsory voting here in Blount County, sadly, I believe the county's debt could be retired in a few elections. <laughs> now I realize this election cycle has just been completed, but another one will occur in just two years, less than two years actually. Some of you taking the oath today, as well as many of you that are here, will be involved in the next election. I found several websites on the internet that will give certain hints and step-by-step -step instructions on how to run for public office. You can find anything on the internet, apparently. <laughs> I've condensed, condensed them down to what I will call my top ten. Now remember, this is the internet, take it for what it's worth, but it's all true because it's on the internet, right? Number one, choose the office you want to run for. While the idea of being president may be tempting, it's always best to start on a local level. Number two, find someone to manage your campaign. The more politically savvy this person is, the better. Number three, surround yourself with brilliant, well-educated advisors who have sterling character and background. Make sure none of them has any connections to nefarious business practices. Number four, get endorsements from influential political figures and other local heavyweights as early as possible. Number five, make sure you have an impeccable record. Keep in mind that when you run for office, personal matters can become fodder for pundits, opponents, and the public at large. Number six, de develop a thick skin. And here's where it gets interesting. Number seven, According to the internet, it will be difficult to win if you have authority issues, a criminal record, a drug problem, or a sex addiction. <laughs> Number eight, constantly watch your physical image. Carry yourself with confidence. Pay attention to your wardrobe and grooming habits. Use mouthwash and deodorant. <laughs> Number nine, don't forget to vote for yourself on election day. And finally, number 10, there are no guarantees in politics. Even if you handle everything perfectly and follow all this advice, you still stand the chance of losing. Again, to all of you that are taking the oath, please accept my heartfelt congratulations and good luck to you.
Thank you, Judge. I'd like to have a copy of that whenever you're through there. Uh, our first oath of office today will be uh, Judge Tammy Harrington, Circuit Court Judge, Division I, and the oath will be administered by Judge David R. Dugan. And we're going to ask Judge Brewer if he would assist us by holding the Bible. The other side, right? There we go. We've done this before. Yeah, we practiced on this too. All right. All right. Here we go. You raise your right hand. I, Tammy Harrington. I, Tammy Harrington. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States of America. Of the United States of America. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the State of Tennessee. Of the State of Tennessee. That I will administer justice. That I will administer justice. Without respect of persons. Without respect of persons. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge all the duties. Discharge all the duties. Incumbent upon me. Incumbent upon me. As judge of the Blount County Circuit Court Division One. As judge of the Blount County Circuit Court Division One. For the fifth judicial district. For the fifth judicial district. Of the state of Tennessee. Of the state of Tennessee. To the best of my skill and ability. To the best of my skill and ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Our next oath of office will be property assessor, Mr. Tim Helton. Uh, Tim, if you'd like to come up here with your family, please. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Amy, if you would, get me another phone, please. <laughs> you want to come right around here? Okay, if you would, please, place your left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand. Read after me. I, Tim Helton. I, Tim Helton. Assessor of property of the County of Blunt. Assessor of property of the County of Blunt. State of Tennessee. State of Tennessee. Do solemnly swear that I will appraise. Do solemnly swear that I will Classify and, assess Classify and assess all taxable property of the County of Blunt according to the Constitution of Tennessee and the laws of the state that I will truly report all persons, report all persons who fail or refuse to list their taxable property or who have, to my knowledge, have, to my knowledge returned a fraudulent list and that I will faithfully, that I will faithfully impartially, impartially, and honestly, and honestly discharge, my duties as assessor discharge my duties as assessor of property according, of property according to the law to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favor, or affection. So help me God, I do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear to support the Constitution of Tennessee and of, the United States, and of the United States, and to faithfully perform the duties of assessor, duties of assessor for, which I am about to assume. for which I'm about to assume. Thank you. Our next oath, oath of office will be County Commissioner, District 1, Seat B, Tab Burkhalter. The oath will be administered by, Jane, uh, by Judge David R. Dugan. Judge Denton, we're going to ask you if you would assist us this time. And if you'll raise your right hand, 
I, Ted Austin Burkhalter Jr. I, Ted Austin Burkhalter Jr. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will perform with fidelity. That I will perform with fidelity. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. And which I am about to assume. And which I am about to assume. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To support the constitution. To support the constitutions. Of Tennessee and the United States. Of Tennessee and the United States. And to faithfully perform. And to faithfully perform. The duties of the office of county commissioner. The duties of the office of county commissioner. Representing seat B of the first commission district. Representing seat B of the first commission district. Of Blount County, Tennessee. Of Blount County, Tennessee. Congratulations. If I knew, you wouldn't have it. <laughs> if I knew how to turn it off, you wouldn't have it, Judge. <laughs> okay. At this time, we're, we have the school board members. Uh, we're going to do these individually. Our first school board member that will take the oath of office is Chris Cantrell from the second district. Oath of office will be administered also by Judge David R. Dugan. I, Chris Cantrell, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will perform with fidelity. That I will perform with fidelity. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. And which I am about to assume. In which I am about to assume. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear to support the constitutions. To support the constitutions of Tennessee and the United States. Of Tennessee and the United States. And to faithfully perform. And to faithfully perform the duties of the office. The duties of the office of member of the board of education. Of member of the board of education representing the second education district. Representing the second education district of Blunt County, Tennessee. Of Blunt County, Tennessee. Congratulations. Thank you. Our next school board member will be Travis Gardner, uh, fourth district. His oath will be administered by Judge Robert Hedrick. I, Travis Gardner, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will perform with fidelity. That I will perform with fidelity. The duties of the office to which I have been elected. The duties to the office to which I have been elected. And which I'm about to assume. And in which I am about to assume. I do solemnly swear to support the Constitution. I do solemnly swear to support the Constitution of Tennessee and the United States. Of Tennessee and the United States. And to faithfully perform the duties. And to faithfully perform the duties of the office of member of the Board of Education. Of office. Of the office. Of the office. Of member of the board. Of member of the board. Of education representing. Of education representing. The fourth education district of Blount County, Tennessee. The fourth education of Blount County, Tennessee. Congratulations. Our next school board member to take the oath will be James E. Compton, 6th District. The oath will be administered by the county clerk, Roy Crawford, Jr. Mr. 
Captain, we're ready to take it. Yes, sir. I, James E. Compton. I, James E. Compton. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will perform. That I will perform. With fidelity. With fidelity. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. To which I have been elected. Which I have been elected. In which I am about to assume. In which I am about to assume. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To support the Constitution. To support the Constitution. Of Tennessee and the United States. Of Tennessee and the United States. And to faithfully perform. And to faithfully perform. The duties of the office. And the duties of the office. A member of the Board of Education. Member of the Board of Education. Representing the sixth education district. Representing the sixth education district. Of Blount County. Of Blount County. Thank you. At this time, this concludes the oath of office ceremony. I will say that there will be a reception held following this ceremony in room 433, which is right down at the end of the hall, and it is being sponsored by the Blount County Republican Women. Thank you all very much for coming. Appreciate everything and have a great day.